Luis Franco. That was on Showbox. Controversial out, if you will. And, you know, he's he went on record saying that after that fight, I had to cut out a lot of the nonsense. Oh, that's a left right there. And you know what? Wait a second. I don't know no, what. No, no, that's not a knockout. That's going to get disqualification because he slipped. No, absolutely not. Let's hold the phone. I, I thought it was a cheap shot. Oh, look at You can see it on the replay. It's, it's brutal. The slip. Now he gets up. Look, and, and, and Estevez is saying, hold on a second. He came out of nowhere. You got to call it the way you see it, Ron. That was a cheap shot. The result of this battle at 50 seconds of the first round, the winner by disqualification, Mike Oliver. And the new NABA. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. And uh, you've got a really unhappy crowd here. Billy doesn't quite know what the make of well, Yamaguchi is. Uh, Yamaguchi, they're just oh. slipping out of the ring and everybody's out of their seat, but it was a slip. Oh, hang on, maybe it wasn't a slip. But well, Billy's hit him when he's down. The referee's missed oh, up my goodness. Goodness. The fight hang is over second. here hang in the first on. round. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, well... It seems to have lost control here inside the ring. This is not what we need. This is not what we need. But, you know, things like this happen. You just get back up and, uh, so, uh, you know. Talk us through this. Uh, he's going down. Yeah. yeah. It was, you know, it was just a bit of a, you know, it was in the moment. The shot was in the moment. Things like that happen, you know what I mean? Um, I thought, I thought, you know, he looked like he was, like he was gone there, but... Yeah. Fanic, Andrew Hyder and Alex Vela, they all claim that this uh, Fika is going to be huge in the world scene, and he may be. But as you'll see what happens, it's not his night in the final analysis. And things are going very well from right now. And watch how it slips away. See what he did? Right there. The guy was on his knees, and he hit him while he was down. see him he's backing up to the ropes i thought terry got caught with a little bit of a good right hand and now his back is totally to him and he hit him it actually doesn't look like it was that bad but he hit him right in the back of the neck base of the skull i think santana was going to lose anyway but certainly not this way you see the timeout indication by mitch halpern fans are trying to urge santana to his feet the doctor instead of trying to examine him and find out neurologically is there anything wrong with him they haven't looked in his eye they haven't done anything he's trying to yeah. talk him into the getting big, up the what big kind of picture doctor is that? He has been down, Ferdy, over two and a half minutes. Yeah, that's all the more reason to give this guy emergency care. This guy could be hurt, and nobody's looking at him. Right, forget the fight. That's a piece of meat here all of a sudden. And uh, understandably, off to my right, Ferdy is beside himself. Now, finally, Mitch Halpern is waving it off. And now they've got to get Santana some help. The doctor says the fighter unable to continue. Referee declares him to go down to due to a foul. The winner by way of disqualification, Luis Cucuso Santana. They gave the title to Santana via disqualification foul. He won the title on the stretcher.
the fight. The winner in the blue corner. You can see Bo landing some fairly solid punches. And then Mathis was down on his knee. He was down at least two, three seconds, uh, Jim, before. And Riddick Bo just looked at him down on his knee and nailed him. Ladies and gentlemen, from the convention center here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, an intentional foul sustained to Principal Buster Mathis, Jr. Therefore, the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board declares this bout a no contest. A no contest. What a body shot. Beautiful precision, right, precision right there in the body shot, Pascal. And that right hand drops him. As the referee was trying to separate him, and that was a right hand. That reminded me of the Marcus punch against see the referee stepping in front of him and you see the referee right there now as he's trying to get in what's the right hand now it has been called a foul the question now Benny is is this called a no contest or is this a disqualification does Belanti get the win here and again there you get the replay here now watch the referee trying to get in there and watch the right hand as the right hand is freed up right there it comes over promoter you know when you go back and look at that shot it didn't seem like that harmful of a no. shot I don't even know if the guy's really hurt but... you look at the eyes and the eyes don't lie watch those eyes roll back I went down from a jab already. we just overheard Michael Griffin say I don't even know if the guy's really hurt but what needs to be determined here is whether or not the foul was intentional, no, that was intentional. Because if, 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 but if they determine that it wasn't then this just gets thrown out it was the technical draw but, it's, but you know what this guy just came over he just came over he said nowhere will you win hey, that's a disqualification it's a hey, they fucking came over here to try to get win on a fucking disqualification that's exactly what european fucking soccer fucking dive <laughs> Okay, well, the first thing is, I've, I've, been, uh, I've, I've been at a lot of fights where fighters have been injured, and if he was truly injured, the trauma specialist would not have left him. He would have been over him constantly. As it is, the trainer's down there talking to the paramedic. The doctor has got out in disgust. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is stopped at 2 minutes and 29 seconds of the second round. After an unintentional foul, this bout is a no contest. Norris has had trouble not doing that in some fights here. This fight is simply right for the taking. Anytime he wants to be put the pressure on. Final seconds of round three. And they fight after the bell and Terry Norris may have just got himself disqualified again. The round was over. I do not believe what I am seeing here. That is incredible for two fights in a row. Luis Santana has just been knocked out by an illegal punch after the bell, clearly after the bell, and deja vu, Dave Bontempo. There's Luis.
Luis Santana flat on his back, and you know they are going to ask for another disqualification. What could be going through Terry Norris's mind? David is not a loud bell here uh, ringside at Caesars. It is possible that Norris never heard the bell. As soon as Santana, who was getting a talking to from referee Kenny Bayless, came out of that corner, Norris went right to him, threw a right hand, and knocked him out. Well, then you have a good question. First of all, it didn't appear to bother either fighter in the first couple rounds. So why should it bother him now? And at the end, the referee should be there. This happens to be, this is part of the most bizarre happenstance in a two-fight series between two fighters in the whole entire history of the sport of boxing. And that Terry Norris finds himself disqualified again. Fights, but Durrell fought very well in the last few rounds against Frotch. See how he does here. There's a nice body shot by uh, Durrell. One and done. Now he's getting pinned against the ropes. Is Durrell has to be careful. And Durrell's very smartly holding on the inside. And that's okay because guess what? Even if they took a point away for holding it at this point in the fight, it wouldn't hurt him that much. He lost a point for holding in the Frotch fight late in the fight. He slips oh, again. Oh, that and was a foul. Down. That's a foul. And if he's knocked Abraham should be disqualified. Let's see how Cole handles it. He is knocked out. He's trembling. He's, he's, he's out. out. Cole. I'm getting the doctor up here. Oh, he's in bad shape. He needs a doctor. Needs a doctor. He's trembling. His leg is shaking. He got hit hard as he was down. Abraham should be disqualified. Yes. He is knocked out. Cole. Abraham's disqualified. They got. Yeah. There's the doctor. You got the. You hit him while he was down. Ooh, he is disqualified. The referee just said he is disqualified. It was on one knee. From the overhead, you can see it. Andre Durrell slips on that. Now he actually was a, in a slip and a punch. Now he's completely down, and there's and and he is nailed by Arthur Abraham. And, and Lawrence Cole was pretty far away from the action. But he called it right. He did call it right. This re re remind me of uh, Montel Griffin, Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. You have to disqualify the guy. Yeah, that's a very good analogy. But what was the thing is you hope that Lawrence Cole might have been there to stop it. There's no question he's on the ground. And, and Abraham should not have thrown that punch. He was way behind. He was down in the fight. He was frustrated. Also the uppercuts, those are the type of punches that raise the chin of his the opponent for the left hook. Oh! Oh! That punch was clearly after the bell. He just can't move around in the last two rounds. You gotta make you gotta throw punches. More low blows, and now Gaynor fires back himself on target. Norwood goes down immediately. Well, it's been a battle of low blow punching. Five, 17, 18. Harold. Now, now he's going to stop it. Paul Cena's going to stop it. Foul is over. He just didn't get up. He didn't drop. That's an unbelievable ending to this fight. It certainly is. Roberto Duran is one of the greatest lightweights. Big right hand by Jones. Big right hand. And Griffin is hurt. No question about it. Griffin is hurt. Jones looking to finish. Griffin wobbling a little bit. Jones comes in and lands the right hand lead again. And a couple of left hooks. And Griffin's knee goes down. And Jones lands two punches after Griffin's knee was on the canvas. And now Griffin slopes forward. And Tony Perez starts the count. That was a foul. accumulation of punishment now right. he's down he went down voluntarily that's why Jones was a little bit mystified oh there's no question that Jones uh, you, you remember the Riddick Bowe Mathis fight when they had plenty of time to set himself a get go over to the neutral corner now look he has all the time in the world he's looking at the guy while he's down Nails him two more punches. Hard to imagine what Roy was thinking when he fired that. Being 
told that Roy Jones is going to be disqualified and will lose his title. The referee disqualifies the red corner.